Greetings everyone, this is Spin, and welcome back to another episode of my Bloodlines walkthrough series. And in this episode, we're on the final level of episode 1 of Bloodlines, Reality Bites, and that is City on the Edge of the Dreams. So, let's get going. We just escaped from that epidemic level and drove our way here. Start things off, we got a cultist, a fanatic I should say. Over there, this is where the voodoo doll comes in handy. Now first things first, there are a lot of cultists in this big stage. So, we're gonna go to town with them. Yeah, this is a lot of hit scanners. There's a lot of them in this level. So that's what we're going to do first, is take care of all of those hit scares. And they are very much aware of our presence. Make sure everybody's taken care of. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we cleared most of them in the open area. We still got a few left to go before we can start continuing on. This way it'll be easier to navigate the, the town area, well the seaport area as I should say. We'll return to the Kingsport area later. But right now we're going to go over here. There's a cultist waiting for you all the way at the end of this hallway, but be careful when grabbing the shells. A phantasm will ambush you on that area side so he's waiting for you so let's enter the building that we're supposed to go to progress and get our first key which will be the fire key we get the jump on the front desk then around here there's a TNT barrel waiting for us let's shoot it first That's right, if you shoot those TNT barrels, you'll pretty much clear the entire room, save for those two spiders. Two cultists will be ready to ambush you, so just use TNT. So, and now, we got the fire key. So let's go into the, ta the town hall area. This place has a hit scanners in this area, well guarded, and some rats. And we still got one more rat and one more cultist. Grab the guns akimbo and we're gonna flare these bloated butchers up. I didn't mean to grab that. Guess I'll run out of flares. Now that we cleared that room and got the second key, which is the moon key, let's get going. But before we even continue on to where the moon key is, yeah, there's a lone zombie just out there. Let's grab the akimbo guns. Blow up this TNT barrel. And we'll open up this barrel shelf here, but be careful. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. And that way we got the skull key. Which we'll need very soon. 
So let's go to the moon key where that fanatic was. And we get the dagger key. So let's jump down here. Go into this secret area. Which will be our first one. Be mindful of the cultist and we got our secret area here. Our reward is a textile gun, which we're going to need, and a switch to necessary to escape. That switch basically unlocked the door. Coming up next, this door right here. That elevator is going to go out to the area where we were before, so let's instead go to the skull key area. Now I have the napalm launcher ready for this part because it's a tight quarter for a bunch of zombies coming in. Plus those additional zombies wait around the corner. So the napalm should clear them out in one shot and you can take the rest out with a shotgun. Now be careful here. Gill beast. Ready to jump scare you. There's a couple of cultists that I haven't taken care of, so let me go ahead and do that. Grab the life seed. And a gargoyle is going to spawn in. Grab the invulnerary, because why not? Go here for some Tommy Gun ammo. And a Phantasm will ambush you. Let's get some more ammunition. Now this is the beach area. Alright, let's awaken all of these butler zombies. Line up the TNT and here we go. Be careful when you get on top of this submerged boat. A bunch of gilbies will spawn in. Okay, that is a glitch. It's like there's this odd glitch with this particular trap where these gilbies are just invincible. I don't know why that's the case, but. Sometimes they're invincible and they do nothing. Sometimes they'll do exactly what they're supposed to do and come after you. So, that's annoying. Oh yeah, this area. So over here in this red building, there's a secret area. Well, not, well it's a non-secret area, I should say. I like to throw a bundle of TNT because there's a hellhound and some cultists in here. There should be three of them. Well, that's, that takes care of them. So back to the spot where I was at, our second secret. Okay, now they're awake. Why would they awake only for them to... That's weird, man. Anyways, ignoring all that, let's just go ahead and get the jump on this oblivious cultist. And this will be the second secret area. Let's jump out of the boat and take a trip straight to Kingsport. Oh, let's also grab some goodies first. We'll grab the ammunition.
And there's some dynamite. There's some dynamite charges that I forgot to get. Might as well grab the armor while we're at it too. So we'll be on our way into the port. Turn on the light switch. Now flipping that switch will bring the napalm launcher here, which we're going to need. Some napalm ammo in here. Now this is a tricky spot. Throw some dynamite into the boat because there is a bunch of cultists in there. And one hellhound. Alright, that's all of them, but before we go into the cargo hold, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set these charges, up, these proximity mines here, and a bunch of remote detonators around the surrounding area. You'll see why I'm doing this. I like to get a circle of these. Okay, that's all of them. Now let's go into the area. Grab the key. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Now if you listen closely, you heard a bunch of cultists die. That's why, because a bunch of them will spawn in when you come in here. Now let's detonate the rest. If there's any it's still left. Now a bunch of cultists will spawn where you came in, so let's just get the jump on them early. And there'll be one behind you. Get the Tesla cannon ready because not also did a bunch of cultists spawn in, but Cerebus spawn too, which is the boss from episode 3. And that takes care of that boss. And now that we got the eye key, let's get out of here. Okay, so that's the final stage to the Reality Bites episode of Bloodlines. It's a pretty big level with a lot of cultists, hit scares. It's by far the toughest stage in this episode. And it pays off. Top it, it tops it all off with the Cerebus boss fight at the end. Now, of course, I did a pretty... I came prepared by setting all those proximity mines and the detonate charges around the area before they even showed up. And there were still some stragglers, plus Cerebus, but they were, it were, they were no problem for me. So, next episode, we'll go into the to episode 2 of Bloodlines. And that's going to be an interesting one because it's one that doesn't feature a lot of combat and is more of a visual set. It's more known for its visual aspect and the combat. So can't wait to get around to doing that soon. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.